And we begin with major developments in the murder of a 27-year-old woman described as a beloved singer. Just hours ago, two of the remaining men charged in Egypt Covington's death learned their punishment. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. Mike Duffy, following the latest developments in this disturbing case, and it's been a long time coming, Mike. Glenda, it really has. Yeah. It's a horrific story dating back six years. Egypt's family and friends have been waiting for justice since the summer of 2017. That's when two men entered Egypt's home in Van Buren Township and shot and killed a 27-year-old while she was watching a movie. Today, Timothy Moore and Shandon Groom facing a judge after both pleading guilty to second-degree murder for her death. Groom was sentenced to 17 to 26 years behind bars. Moore sentenced to 20 to 55 years. A third man charged in Egypt's death, Shane Evans, is already locked up after pleading guilty to second degree murder. Now at today's sentencing hearing, an attorney for Timothy Moore spoke on his behalf. That we were prepared to litigate, but it was Mr. Moore's decision to take responsibility for his involvement and to not put anyone through a lengthy jury trial in this matter. Investigators say Egypt's murder was a robbery gone wrong. Police had been investigating a fourth suspect, but say that that person was shot and killed in another incident in Toledo, Ohio. A long time coming, but hopefully some justice for the family. Glenda? Hopefully, Mike. Thank you for the update.